it's been two years, two years and three days to be exact, since Rich Peverly played his last game with the Dallas Stars. And two years to the day since he got out of the hospital. He collapsed on the Stars bench and hasn't played since. Here's Mike Leslie. Rhythm has many places in our everyday lives. In music, in dancing, even in the finer elements of a football play design. But you rarely have to think about rhythm. It just happens. It's natural. The rhythm of a human heart is supposed to work that way too. There seems to be an extreme situation yes. at the Dallas bench. One of those games that uh, you don't really want to remember. It is pandemonium and panic over there. It's a situation you never want to see. Stop the game. Definitely very scary. It's one of the most traumatic incidents I've, I've ever been around. March 10th, 2014. The Dallas Stars host the Columbus Blue Jackets in the midst of a playoff push. I remember my last shift. Tyler and Jamie, I was with them and kind of put my head down and, you know, it was a hard time catching my breath and that was it. Rich Peverly was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation when he was traded to the Dallas Stars in 2013. Prior to that, he'd never had any heart condition or concerns. But six minutes and 23 seconds into the first period that night, Peverly suffered from ventricle fibrillation, far more serious and life-threatening. Peverly collapsed on the bench in the lap of Jamie Benn. We just came off of a shift and he just collapsed right there and then, uh, you know, our medical staff went to, to work. A couple of players that were on the sides of him were yelling. You know, they were panicked and, you know, they were like, and, you know, they're yelling, Z, Z, Z. Team doctors quickly carried Peverly into the tunnel. Quick, 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 immobilize, make sure you're looking around, making sure that the people that are supposed to be down there are down there. I guess you know it's life-threatening. You're at least thinking that. You know, you know a guy's unconscious, right? So that's there's steps that you take from there. We're verbalizing as we're bringing him back that there's no heart rate. It's an unconscious. He's unconscious. So you're thinking cardiac right away, cardiac and airway. Um, you know, he's clear airway. So the right away started uh, CPR. Uh, as well as the paramedics coming around and getting the IV ready, uh, as well as the pads. So the pads were on them fairly quickly, uh, and then the shock was administered uh, not long after that. Flashes. Almost like something out of a movie, but, uh, you know, it was, came back and wanted space, wanted to breathe. And uh, once I did, I felt, I felt normal. You know, literally, eyes open, breathing, you know, are the two big things you like to see. He, he wanted to know how much was left in the period, and it brought tears to my eyes, him asking about hockey right away. Uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's something you'll never forget. Hockey players are a little bit different breed that way, you know, they're programmed that way. Once Peverly had come to, doctors explained to him what had happened and quickly rushed him to the hospital. You don't really know why it stopped, right? So until he's actually shipped and you know, quote unquote, stable. Um, I don't think he ever really let your guard down on it. Everly was discharged from the hospital three days later. Initially, when everything happened, I, I had no interest in playing. And over the course of time and talking with more doctors, you find out that there possibly could be a chance. So I put myself in the, in the situation to where I was working out five days a week for the possibility of having that chance. Everly worked toward a return for more than a year only to have that possibility taken away. It wasn't a choice of mine. I had no choice. Doctors told me not to play after extensive tests, and you know, that was something I had to come to, come to grips with. But you know, knowing that I exhausted every avenue you know, made me feel like I made that right decision. The team bench was trying to get the attention of emergency medical personnel. Looking back on that night, Peverly realizes the gravity of the situation and how fortunate he was. If I was anywhere else, I, I might not be here. Uh, we had the doctors and plan put in place. Because of their preparation, I'm still here. And it's what he's still here for that is most important to Peverly now. I enjoy being at my, with my kids, going to their activities, being at home. Those are the memories you create with your family, going on vacations together. I think uh, if I wasn't, obviously if I wasn't here, but I, I don't want to talk like that because I am here. so. It's, uh, you know, during the course of that time and, and me being able to be almost a full-time dad last year, being here and being for my family, it was, 
If I was playing, I would never have done that. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. Like Leslie, Channel 8 Sports.